What is up everybody? I am Crimson Thunder here. Welcome to this brand new let's play of 911 Operator. I actually have just seen this game probably about a couple days ago when I was actually going through some recommendations on Steam. And for some strange reason this ended up catching my eye. And I actually, before I I actually do I did play through some of this uh, ahead of time and I did actually reset the data so I could, uh, for the purpose of this playthrough but I have to say when I actually ended up looking at this uh, game with the positive reviews it looked really good so I ended up taking a look at it and holy damn it actually does it's, it gets you feel like as best as possible to try being a 911 operator. Of course, they do put a disclaimer in this game that it's not a hundred percent realistic, and because um, and there are some simplifications, inconsistencies with reality. Like for example, one of the things they do, they actually do say in this game, is that 75 percent of all the Calls that a, a typical 911 operator usually get is ignorable for the most part. For the most part, because they're not anything that requires anybody requiring to mobilize any uh, units. But in the, in this particular game, it gives you the simulation of being able to uh, be a 911 operator. So in here, you can do either a free game or a career. And I'll actually get to one of these free games uh, in, a, in a little while because I actually find it's pretty good. Good. When they do say that you can literally play in any city, you you can literally play in in, in any city. Like take for example, um, my like take for example, um, my hometown. Uh, Norton in Bristol, Massachusetts, for example. It actually will do it actually downloads uh, images from the map, and believe it or not, there are actually some very geographically accurate locations here. I mean, I and some of the where the police and fire departments. And maybe some hospitals are and when I actually do look at them believe it or not they are very accurate in, in geographical locations all the streets around here are actually do actually come from real uh, types of uh, stuff so we're not gonna do this particular one just yet because it, do, it does have a uh, conversations now also note that I do have all the DLC content that's actually that's actually in this game quite possibly and this game hasn't been around for too long maybe a little over a year the one thing I just seem to be a little surprised about though is that how much um <sighs> it might take to load all the conversations because you have to play like a actual 911 operator Operate. it seems like this is your first duty shall we begin the training I already know how to play but thank you but instead of that I don't play from Hutchinson no but let's go ahead into a career now there's two ways you can actually do unique sto uh, do this. You can either do the, your unique stories and your daily routine. The two main differences though is that the unique stories don't repeat the same situation as far as uh, a 911 oper uh, call is concerned. It gives you the highest number of the verse situation as short as time possible and all you have to do is maintain a positive reputation throughout all your duties in each city and if you're doing playing it for the first time that's probably what you might want to go through but your daily routine is probably the more realistic way of being able to do a 9 -1 operator's job they might have the same things happen twice in a row but completing the career will take more time because you need to get a bunch of reputation points in order to advance to the next city so for this 
since I know since I want the real challenge, I'm gonna go with the daily routine. And Capola uh, Lee is probably I hope I said that right, is the is the first map that you actually do get to do. All it is it's basically situated off the island of Oahu, very close to Pearl City, also near Pearl Harbor, if I'm not mistaken. It was carefully designed before beginning the construction, makes the city unique from an urban planning point of view. The name of the city comes from the volcanic cone Pupuo Kepalai, which is the mythological uh, cre uh, character Kepal, the goddess of fertility. It has a population of 15,186. And in order to get to the next city, which is going, which is going to be Miami in this in, in this case, we need 100 reputation points. Now, before before you actually get to do so, you have to download the maps. Which some of them don't take as long, but here you have a map of the city. And you need 100 reputation points to pass. So once you get that downloaded, you can click start. Now I've also seen a few playthroughs, and some, and all, and there are people who there who have made obvious mistakes. But I will do the best I can to show you what the best thing to do. Some calls are ignorable, some are not, and. Some of the stuff like CPR, heart attack, fractures, any of this stuff, it gives you, uh, it can give you real life tips. Now, before you every duty, you get to see what, uh, see this, and you you got resources available. We got staff, equipment. May not always be a bad. It may not always. Be, I mean, since it's the first playthrough, it may not be the, a bad idea to just have it around here. But since we have a technical truck, there's no reason not to put this in here. And we can actually we can actually hire somebody as we have a limited budget. We do have um, four firefighters that you can do. And one thing that I also, there's also one thing that I do also know is that you got to be careful of, of, some of, uh, of some of these salaries too because people don't actually take into consideration that some, act some people actually have more, um, cost more. But you also got to take into consideration their skills. Like Evan Gomes, he has a driving skill of 75%, which te basically what it does is it allows you to, the, the higher this is, the faster they can drive. But also, the technical skill, it tells you how much they're able to be able to be able to remove objects, be able to move. Um, put off fires and etc etc same thing with your medics they all have driving which is the best which is how fast they drive and like first aid how much they're able to quickly heal somebody now the equipments also be able to uh, you're also able to use this in order to do the jobs like this is a simple title coup and a police inventory Used in the arrest of dangerous criminals. Some th some of them you can only use it for p police. Some of them you can, and a couple of them can can only be used as a um, fire and for rescue equipment. And this particular one, and we also got the um, chest compression system that can only be used by the medics. We got riot control gear. Face riots, we got drones, night vision, we got search and rescue. Some of this is actually part of the uh, a couple of uh, DLCs, like the um, search and rescue stuff. So, we'll let, what we'll do is
200, 200, 266, and 300. Well, just know that, um, she's got excellent, uh, Genesis Collins, she's got some excellent driving skills, but her marksman, not so much. Well, Robert, he's got excellent mark, excellent marksman, but costs 266. So you gotta be, so you gotta be a little bit careful. Like a police fan, if we have much of, if we have a better budget, that's maybe what we do. So, but you remember, you can, people can only cost only cost so much, uh, cost so much. And if you get these uh, helicopters, these are expensive. So, if we can get money by completing the duty, we should we get rewards for completing certain incidents and by issuing fines. But for now, it may not be the it may not be a bad idea just to just leave this as it is, cause I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. The only thing I might want to do right now is just get one firefighter to to get with this um, technical truck, like Jackson Morales, two sixty six, three hundred. Shield Claire is 266. Because of the uh, driving skills, the obvious choice would be Jackson Mor or Morales. So we'll actually put him right here. So he'll be able to deal with any, any of the stuff that's happening. I mean, this is the type of stuff. It is equipped with some um, professional fire kind of equipment, but it can be useful in a fireman's job. So let's actually go ahead. Once you deploy. You have a map of the city. Now before you actually do get into the city, what I usually like doing is that I like to spread a few police officers in a in a few areas. Just so they could be just like in like in real life. You don't want all your they don't have all their police officers just in one area of the city because it makes it difficult like say here that if we grouped up all of our like cop cars over here, if there's like an emergency that happens over here, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult for them to be able to drive all the way over there. And I'll actually sh sh and I'll show you. So one towards the like one towards the west, one in the one in like the mi uh, like the middle over here, and one towards the east. And it's actually, you'll actually find that later on that it's actually more important to have the police than, than some of the other stuff, de depending on the situations. But for now, let's just start your duty. Now the game actually takes 10 real-time minutes in actual life in order, to, in order to complete a shift. And, I'll pause the game for a second. Whenever you get an incident come up, you'll get, or a call coming here, you'll get a little incident that comes up. So for here, we got an unconscious uh, person for an unknown reason. So the uh, so once you once you determine where they are, like 278 Wangaro place. Now this white these white things indicate that they require a medic. So so we'll do that. So obviously it's not one of it's probably not going to be too bad. I think this is the more realistic speed. Because you don't see those zipping all over the place. This represents um, 7 hours and 40 minutes left in the shift. Now when they're on the scene you'll get to see the situation report. It seems that there is an injured person over here and the two um, medics that are currently on the scene are administering fi uh, first aid. And this will, and they will actually resolve the issue without any other uh, further assistance. 
and it's actually possible for a police officer in order to be able to do, help with the situation, but the medic actually do it faster. Now the other type of situation that we have is that we got st stuff like like an emergency call coming in. So let's go ahead and take this call. I'll shout out for a second. Oh boy, I know this situation. Excuse me, you've reached 911. about it because there's someone in the room? Yes, exactly. Do you also need medical attention? Is somebody hurt? Yes, but do you know how long it will be? I have an officer about a mile away. I'll send it right away. Yes, please. Are there any weapons in the house? Yes. Can you stay on the line with me? No, thanks. I hope we'll get here soon. All right, the officers are coming. Now, this might be a little strange thing of why I actually would um would do it the way I did, but some of these uh, some of these particular ones are actually based off of actual real calls, and for this particular reason, sometimes uh, there actually is possible that. They actually may act as strangely because there is somebody in the house that's probably taking their hostage. So, so at first they might think, what the hell is this, uh, is this person talking about? But, un but, unfortunately, you'll find out later on. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a poli uh, two police units over there because you don't know what's going to happen. And... They will handle the situation uh, as proper, but be careful not to press this unless you unless it's something that's not really not an emergency. All right, so we have an, one other incident: heart attack. A heart attack has been reported. The person requires immediate uh, uh, transportation to the hospital. So. We will send the ambulance over there, and if it requires immediate uh, transportation to the hospital, once they be once they're able to stabilize this, these little symbols over here is actually a hospital. This little situation, he this little symbols here are actually the poli police stations, and these red ones are the fire department. Okay, so now. And for the list of current incidents that are currently going on in the town or a city, you can click this. There's the one with the call. This obvious, this obviously is a hostage situation. If nothing else, we can all we can just speed up time. They act. It's a good thing they do that because doing so in real time could probably take a long time. And and every time you resolve a situation correctly, you get re you get reputation. This is this what is required for you to be able to be able to advance. Or if you, if it's really bad, you can also. Get fired and uh, and have to restart the uh, the the whole level all over again. So, got the heart attack. They will Serenity and Colby. It looks like an elderly woman, so they'll be able. So this is heavily injured. Usually this type of stuff, when they resolve this, they go right to the hospital. 
There's a couple of little squares over here that actually uh, turn solid when they are when there's uh, when there's victims or criminals on board. So I'll show you in a minute. So one unit on the scene. There is a guy. There's a drunk guy with a gun over here, and the and the woman is actually injured. Okay, so here's that, and they're going to they're going to automatically go back to the hospital. And there is going to be an arrest that that's going on over here. So once they uh, once they are getting arrested, they go to the black of a police vehicle, and they'll go. So it's possible that they that some of these people actually will start shooting at each other. So it's always not a bad idea to call back up. So, but if you can, try to have a, a, a unit available just in case. Alright, so backups arrived and they're dealing with a drunk thug. Incident. Car blocking the way requires a tactical job. Okay, now this is something that's required for a firefighter. So let's go to our unit. We can also use it this way. I don't think it really requires a. Um, doesn't really require uh, much of a um, thing, so we'll just go ahead and go here. So, now, as I ended up saying, it is possible for the police to be able to to help with the uh, person involved. See where the resolve is actually. It's actually slower, but it is possible for the um, for them to be able to uh, administer any first aid or so, so. So, in this situation, I I mean, not too many people know to uh, know this too much, but so they'll be able to resolve it. The more units that you have working on this job, it actually gets resolved faster. So it's all right. This actually, this actually helps uh, free up an ambulance. So we'll go to this particular hospital, so it's the most spread out. So four seconds. Alright, so they resolved the case, so... Now the, um... No, this police. No, this police officer is um, is free. So he'll. I'll send him. To, send him to this. What do we got here? Drug usage. So we got drugs. So we'll send the poli We'll send the police officer over there first, and then we will get a. We'll get an ambulance over there. Now that we solved this particular one, we actually increase our reputation for quite a bit. And when I'm actually going, when we next time we have a 911 call, I'm actually not going to uh, to ex talk to, uh, while this actually is happening. Just and I'll explain why. As I said, I'll explain why after. All right. So this will be so this will be resolved pretty quickly with no additional support needed. All right. New incident. Speeding. This is one of those lower pri lower priority um, events going on, but we'll send this van 
up here to do this now. It's not... These are one of those wings where you might be able to get a reputation point, but these are the ones where you're able to issue fines, and this will increase your cash later on. Alright, now, we'll, now we'll send the ambulance after here. Now that now that they're done, just um send the truck back. So I spotted the speeding. They'll pull the guy over. The guy is obviously not armed, so they'll resolve that in about one minute. Now we got the drug usage going on here, so... This will be resolved so soon. Twelve reputation. All right. So now the ambulance is going back. Right here is actually going to go back to patrolling around here. And I'll send the the van to the middle of the area. Unless, let's see what's going on here. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello, I need help. It's burning. I'm sorry, ma'am. What's burning? It's burning. Send in the fire brigade immediately, please. Okay, ma'am. I need you to calm down. What is burning? My car. There's a smoke coming from under the hood. Send in firefighters. What I want you to do is get away from your car right away. Do it as safely as you can. Ma'am, where are you? Is anyone hurt? No. No one is hurt. Will you send help? Okay, I'm sending the fire department. Well, I'm waiting. Okay, so here we have we there's there's a car fire over there. Usually the the general rule is you want to be able to find to find figure out where they actually are at first because it actually takes time for them to be able to do this but if you, if they do give you a location it pops up immediately so we have a car fire usually you never want to have uh, people try to uh, examine the area if possible if possible unless um, there's other ways you can you can be able to help the uh, be able to help them. So I'll send one fire uh, truck over there because it's not really, it's not that big of a, um, it's not really that big of a deal. There's no injuries, so there's no need to send an ambulance over there. So now that there's resolved, uh, see how uh, after that speeding, uh, for that speeding, see how our cash went up. That's because I actually um, did so in the way. They gave a, a, a fine, which for some reason is over $1,000, so who knows, maybe they did like, went, went way over the speed limit. New incident, there's a dog bite, that's going to require, that's going to require a, a police which they uh, someone needs help and also there's a the, the owner of the dog's probably gonna get fined got injured going to hospital 
Okay, so. There's another new call. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, there's an unconscious man here. Where are you calling from? Around. Do we have any visible injuries? Breathing. Yeah, his breath smells so bad. I'm gonna send a police officer to check up on him as well, okay? Wait there until he arrives. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, so probably just a pass out drunk that probably got into a fight, so. I don't think the it's too serious, but we'll send an officer over there. Okay, there definitely is a a car fire, so they're going to they're going to take out take out the fire. Childbirth, so that requires it that requires an ambulance to go over there like now. Case resolved, so some someone back to the hospital over here. Reporting. The fire department's is, is finished what they're doing, so right away. Waiting for orders. We'll send this guy back to the fire at the fire station. So we got we got more money from that um from issuing a fine and we got new reputation. No. Overdose, so send an ambulance over there. This is going to be res Okay, this if it's badly beaten then we'll send the We'll send the ambulance over there. Road rage. We'll send this over here. Now you see how it gets really busy. Emergency. I want to report a fire. So what's on fire? Some garbage. Where are you, sir? In front of. So is the garbage in some sort of container or a trash bin? It's in the trash can. All right. So how big is the fire? Pretty big. Flames are shooting up 10, maybe 15 feet. Is the fire spreading anywhere? Yes. Are there any inflammable materials near the fire? No, I don't see any. The fire department is on the way. Okay. Eh, that's a little strange. So we got a, uh, we got, so we got a fire. If it's uh, if it's pretty big, you better send the fire department. So road rage, this guy is going to get arrested. Drunk driver. We'll check in on that. We have one arrested going to the going to the going to go to jail. Even though they do have another person on board, it is possible that they can actually. Um, Okay. Better, better send another. Um, better send the uh, another uh, fire truck that way if it's big.
Okay, we got an epilepsy attack. Let's send this over here. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? My stomach hurts really bad. Hmm. This could end in one or two ways. So how long have you had this stomach pain? About an hour ago. It, it started suddenly. Alright, does anything else hurt? I vomited half an hour ago. So, do you have any other symptoms? Um... I also have diarrhea. That can be bad. What's your address, sir? Your symptoms could be signs of something really serious. I'm going to get medical help to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll wait for them to get here. Bye. Yeah, vomiting and diarrhea, that's usually not a good thing. It's disgusting, yes, I know, but I'm not going to judge it here. Car block in the way, so we'll, we'll actually go here. Now, once this cat clock expires, you're not you're not gonna get any more calls or incidents, so we'll be able to. Now for a large fire, now you should actually make sure you have about four people do uh, on board doing so. Unfortunately, so someone did get a little bit injured in that one, so. So they'll be, they're gonna they'll they'll be able to resolve that. Okay, now that that's done, we'll send them back to the hospital. Once the rest of these, once the rest of these are resolved, Hello, done. shortly we'll just we'll just accelerate. Back to the fire station you go. And after the last, uh, after the last uh, of that was all done, you basically get to see your results for the for your first duty. We solved 18 cases, three got in prison, two of them were fine, five were hospitalized, 11 were healed, so we get a total of 42 reputation. And as you probably see around here, we have no, no uh, negative reputation. You only get negative reputation if you do something wrong. So we give him first aid, the heart attack results in the hospital. So when you go over here, you can click on the results and the red stuff is what actually happened. The caller was in fact need of assistance but tried to write by pretending to order pizza. Uh, but they were actually in danger. The drunk thug was actually taken into custody and the scared woman was doing first aid. The we actually resolved that pretty damn well so we get three reputation for it. Small car fire. A car, a car was on fire. Leave the car. Do not. You should never try to f do something like that by uh, by itself because unless you have like a fire extinguisher that is like really small, you might be able to do something like that. But or something that could potentially get yourself uh, uh, hurt, especially if it's a uh, something like a car or something because it has gasoline, they explode. You and it will result in some people getting killed. 
Got a childbirth here. I was taken to the hospital. Drug overdose. The road rage resulted in getting arrested. So as well as the drunk driver. Now this biting thing. <laughs> wow, we got a one thousand two hundred sixty-one dollar ticket for that. That gets in our fines. And the speeding, it was a another hefty fine too. So I'll we'll actually keep going until we get to the uh, next one. Until we get to the next one. Now, unfortunately, some firefighters, they actually do get in injured, and sometimes you can't, they're not going to be able to go on to, to be able to serve the next day, so, we need to get a, a couple new firefighters on duty. So, we'll, have, we'll hire Claire and Jose. And since we can afford, since we can afford it, we can start equipping these for these, for these situations accordingly. If we have a fire, if we have a fire suit, they will be able to ensure pearl protection from fire. So this will be any fires now. They'll result in a much bigger uh, much better chance of not a much better chance of not um uh, getting hurt by the fire Okay, so just another typical day. So the so the next day, if the, they'll be they'll be able to go back on duty. This should be fine. Now for ve now ve for vehicles, you gotta be care uh, you gotta be uh, careful of how you spend some of this money. So I don't think there's gonna be anything really big happening. So what we'll do is we'll continue the way it is. We'll just get these people properly equipped. So let's actually start the deployment. And this is not bad, so let's go. The po Most of the um, po police officers will be able to patrol on their own just fine. And we got a call coming in. Nine one one. What's your emergency? My car was stolen. When was your car stolen? I just saw my car is gone, but I have no idea when exactly that happened. Where did this happen? The car was in my parking lot near my apartment, as usual. What's the address of where this happened, sir? It happened at. Sir, it isn't an emergency case. Please report the theft to your nearest police station. Of course. Thank you for your help and sorry for blocking the line. Goodbye. Hmm. Minus, minus, minus three. So, I think what you're supposed to have done there is actually have the police go up there to um, maybe fix that. No, let's see. Family abuse and so send it. Set an officer over there, and we will send it. Let's 
So I'll send an ambulance there for medical assistance too. We're just gonna get this guy's information. Another family abuse, huh? Send an officer by. Sometimes it might be. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a uh, sketchy situation. So, sometimes it. Sometimes it's not usually. It's not always a 911 situation. But I'll just do do so in this case. Just. Just because it, it sounds like a. Um, just 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 to see what the hell what's going on. Fallen tree, so what are the orders? I copy going there. That's a technical job. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello? There are some guys here fighting. Can you do something about it? How many of them are there? There are two of them. Did you see if they had any weapons? No, I didn't see any. Is anybody injured? Oh my, one of them just fell down. He's not moving. Can you give me a precise address of the incident? Yes, of course. It's at... So those other guys who were fighting, did you see where they went? I have no idea. Could you check his medical condition? I'll do that. Uh, what should I do? Is he breathing? Uh, one second. Yes. Does he have any injuries that you can see? Um, just let me look. Oh, God! He has a knife in his stomach! There's a lot of blood around it. Sh should I pull the knife out? No, no. Leave it. Don't pull the knife out. Okay, so what should I do? Do you have anything that you can use to stop the bleeding? Uh, you know, something to wrap around the knife? You should dress the wound around the knife as best you can. Be careful, though. Don't move the knife. I can use a scarf. Wait a second. Uh... Okay, it's done. Just wait with him until the ambulance arrives. It's on the way. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, so... This... You never ever have anybody pull the knife out. It can actually do more damage than it does actually solve. So we this requires both the police and the and the uh, ambulance to arrive on the scene. Sharp tool injury, so we can send that ambulance over there since that's the closest. Ten four. We're on it. Sorry, ten four. Thank you. 
so we can just have them. We'll just have the uh, the paramed uh, these uh, medics that deal with this and have them be able to just get get resolve that situation. Another incident. Trap. Alright, that was definitely going to require going to the hospital. Fine. Once this is done, we'll just send this technical truck over there. So that's three reputation. Just have him patrol that area. Not that 911 call. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, hello, there was a car collision. Where did the collision happen? Around. <laughs> when did it happen? Uh, yesterday evening. Sir, you don't call 911 for a car accident that happened yesterday. But the car's crashed and the bumper's off. Sir, please contact your body shop, or go to the nearest police station if you have any complaints. Okay, bye. Bye, Yeah, unfortunately, that's not an emergency situation, so we'll ignore this one. And we get one reputation point for that. That'll get resolved. Uh, that'll get resolved pretty soon. The cat in a tree. This is usually a low. Pro this is a low priority, but we since we do have a a firefighter available, a couple of, uh, we will send them over there. It doesn't give you any reputation points, but it's okay if you to be able to solve this one, but. If you really don't, it's really not uh, much of a big deal. Twenty-two forty-seven West Monroe. Okay, solved. Reporting. Affirmative. Five DVO, ten five L location. Audio, I'm on desk. Waiting for instructions. On my way. Standing by. Twenty-two forty-seven West Monroe. What are the orders? Affirmative. Okay, there is no more incidents right now, which is a, which is a, which is great. Okay, new incident. Gun raid. We'll send two officers there because they're properly armed. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi, there is a strange car parked here. Could you check it? Where's the car parked? On the sidewalk. Can you give me the address of where this car is parked, sir? So, what is it about this parked car that has you concerned? There is not enough space to walk through. I'll have an officer check it out, and they'll decide if the car should be towed. Thank you. Bye. Eh. <sighs> Must be neat. And this is why I said they're armed suspects, so. There must be, uh, like knives. Sometimes it actually does. Sometimes you do have officers that actually do have to end up fighting, so. It's going to result in. Uh, we're going to need an ambulance here. If there's any FTO or crew for that gun turning, give us some experience. 10 4, waiting for orders. I'm listening. Reporting. Reporting. Allayed, Rose. Yeah, 10 4. We're on it. Affirmative. Have them secure the suspect first.
I don't know. I don't know why, but such. Drinking a pub like this isn't really a high priority right now, so we can ignore this one. I don't think we'll get a, a reputation penalty for this, but we. What's your emergency? Hello, I've seen a fire. Can you do something with it? What's the address you're calling from, ma'am? In front of... What's burning, ma'am? I don't know. It's probably a living room. Could you be more specific, ma'am? Uh, is the room in a house or an apartment? Yes, the house is burning. So, how big is this fire? Big enough to be worried about. Send help. Is the fire spreading? Yes, it is. Are you inside the building? No, I'm on the street. Do you know what caused the fire? I have no idea. Okay, I'm sending the fire department right now. Good. Bye. We are ready. 10-4. Accident by drunk driver. That's... Send both an ambulance and the police over there. Chemical hazard. What are the orders? 10 4. That can be dangerous. Twenty-six rep. We have one last nine one one call for this shift. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hi, there's an unconscious man here. Where are you calling from? Around. Did you see him pass out? No, he was on the ground when I found him. Does he have any visible injuries? No, I think he's not injured. Is he breathing? I'm sending an ambulance to check up on him. Can you wait there, please? Sure. Bye. Hmm. I'll send an officer there as well. What are the orders heading over there? Heart attacks. That's serious. This is under control. What are the orders? Affirmative. 
So heart attacks reported. They need a immediate transportation to the hospital. We'll be on that. Now that the shift is over, this should be. They should no longer be. Going to the hospital. So there's only two incidents, the fire, which is well under control, and the unconscious man, they're going, they are going to the hospital, and Was in patrol. Hmm. Not sure if this is a glitch. A glitch or not. Maybe next time I'll just send a, a police officer over here. You can resolve, and the other one is you don't get a reputation penalty for the, uh, for, for this particular one. So I'm gonna say that you could probably it's something that you could probably ignore because it's not it's a lower priority. Yeah, and they're drinking in public. That's not a sir, that's not a, a thing that's really worth uh, attention. Maybe if there was an officer uh, avail, uh, if there was enough officers available, then probably. Fire unconscious. Okay, let's go back. Okay, now we got 74 grand. <laughs> now probably what I want to do is I'll get a extra police car cuz Having police cars it usually is a usually is a high is a pretty good priority. So we'll get one police officer here. We'll hire another police officer. One with some one with some excellent marksmanship. So we'll get her. Always make sure they're equipped with pistols, at, at, at least. And maybe equip some of these with pep with pepper spray, so some of the less aggressive uh, units will um there'll be less injuries involved yeah there's no need for any riot control or anything And probably a fire extinguisher. Yeah, 
Okay, so we can't really, we don't want to do too much here, so let's start to the floor mode. So we do have an extra police officer of it available, so. So maybe patrol more to the south of the city, so we cover, so we can cover more area. One hour passes without any incident. Here we go. Nine one one, what's your emergency? My car was stolen. Where did this happen? The car was in my parking lot near my apartment as usual. What's the address of where this happened, sir? It happened at when was your car stolen? Just now. I've seen those thieves driving away in my car. Send somebody to catch them. So how many suspects did you see? There were two of them. Okay, I'm going to need your license plate. Can you give that to me, please? It's... Okay, this is... What color is your car? Purple. What type of car is it? It was a van. Thank you. Goodbye. 113 with that up. Right away. Right away. Mm -hmm. Reporting. I copy. Go in there. Oh, dear. I'm on desk. That's one. 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 That's It's also good to co try to conserve money just in case you have to have reinforcements, just in case if it does get out of control. Not a bad idea to send reinforcements over there to assist an officer. Okay, not surprised that it's going to be open. So there's injuries, so we'll send an ambulance over there. This is why this is why marksmanship can be important. Family abuse. Send some police and ambulance. Ooh, that was close. Hello, I have a problem. Uh, someone is trying to get into my house through the back door. What happened? Tell me what's happening. It's probably that crazy Ray, my ex-boyfriend. I heard knocking at the door. He's probably drunk again. What should I do? Okay, where are you? Where do you live? I live at... I'm sending the police right now. Is it possible that Ray has a weapon? Find a room that you can lock the door on, and then get in there, shut it, and lock it, okay? Okay. Oh, God. Please help me. Hold on. I know you can do this. Police are on the way. What should I do? I have my father's gun. Should I shoot him? It's your call. I can't tell you what to do and what not to do. You have to decide this yourself. But remember, the law allows you self-defense in your own home. Ray! Ray, I have a gun. Please stop. Ray, I will shoot you. Get away from the door. Okay, they're on the way. Ooh, a large, ooh, a large fire. It's in both. It's in both of my, both of the firefighters. Okay. Reporting. 
After the fire gets the apartment gets there, we will resolve this. Just, just focus on getting that fire under control. Just the fire. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello? There's an unconscious man here on the pavement. Where are you calling from? Around. Does he have any visible injuries? A black eye. And there's some blood on his face. Is he breathing? Sending an ambulance to check up on him. Can you wait there, please? Sure. Fine. Sounds like you. It could be. As far as being safe. Red light offense. So we can just pull that guy over because uh, there's an officer nearby. Two unconscious people here. So there probably was a fight there. Standing by. Drinking in public. We can. Since we do have uh, units available, we will go uh, check on that. We can give them some fines. Incident, car accident. I'm listening. Heading over there. Waiting for instructions. Heading over there. Oh, there is a heavily injured person over there. It's a red light offense. Yeah, we can sh check on that. We're done here. On my way to the hospital. Five DVO, ten five that location. We're done here. Nine one one, what's your emergency? 
Hello? Is anyone there? It's obviously um, nothing serious. Eh, nothing serious. Possibly just kids playing on the phone. If we could ignore that one, we get one reputation for it. Serious intoxication, that's going to require a hospital visit. You can patrol that area. I'm listening. Patrol more to the heading over there. Heading over there. Probably more towards that area. The van can stay up north. Cat in a tree. What are the orders? I copy. Going there. Got injured. Going to hospital. Here we go. Another call. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. I've seen a fire. Can you do something with it? What's the address you're calling from, ma'am? In front of. What's burning, ma'am? Just garbage. Is the garbage in some sort of container or dumpster? No, it's a pile of rubbish lying on the ground. So, how big is this fire? Big enough to be worried about. Send help. So, are there any inflammable materials around the fire? Uh, no. I don't see any. Is the fire spreading? I don't think so. Okay, I'm sending the fire department right now. Good. Bye. Alright, that's probably, probably only one um, is needed. Drug overdose. Yeah, it's not a. It doesn't look like a big fire. Okay, okay you can re return to the station. Cat in a tree. Send. Yeah, it looks like I think the police will be able to resolve this one. Send this over here. Shit, I must have um missed that one for going a little too fast. Just for a parking reaction violation, you actually get a minor. So you see here, you got minus nine. That usually more than th stuff that gets you to get you more than minus three reputations. Usually a, a real serious mistake. Yeah, so we profited, uh, so we got like, if our fines exceed our salaries, we definitely did a good job. We got 22 rep. And after that, we get to go on a new city, so I think we will go on to Miami. I know, it's Miami. I hope you all enjoyed that. Next time on Let's Play 911 Operator, we're going to actually go on to meet Miami. This is actually part of the DLC, so there's actually um, festivals going on there, so 
we'll see what we can do. Until next time, I'm Crimson Thunder. See you later, everybody.